Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to write integration tests with the help of Docker and test containers. I have prepared here a small API project with DB context using SQL Server and I have created a simple to-do repository that is basically doing the data access logic for me. And I have mapped few APIs just for simplicity. I'm using minimal API, map get to get all the lists, to get a single to-do item, to create one using map post, and to update an existing to-do using map put. And in the folder data, we have a repository. We have the interface of that repository. We have the entity to do. We have an ID title and is complete as a Boolean flag. We have the to do DB context, a simple DB context with one DB set. And we have the repository that we need to, to actually test in this video. In the to do repository, it's a very simple implementation of the repository pattern. We are injecting a context and for each of the methods that we have, we are doing a bunch of stuff. Like we are getting the list. We are getting the first item with the ID. We are adding a new to-do and we are updating an existing to-do. So to get started, we need to create a new project. So let's call it integration test. Once the project is created, let's go ahead and add a reference to our API project. Simply add the reference. And then we need to search for a test container package. So test containers, we have the test containers, or you can use one of the modules, you can use MS SQL, you can use Postgres, or you can use SQL Edge, the one that I'm going to use here. Why I'm using SQL Edge here? Because I need to test the behavior of my repo, of my API, when running it on Azure SQL database. This is the same image that is running on Azure SQL Server. So let's add it to the integration test project. Once added, let's go ahead and delete this file and create a new test file, which is to do repository tests. Let's start by creating our first test, which is adding a to do to the database. What we can do, let's start by adding a new test, public void add to do test. Here, what we need to do is simply Create an, inter create an implementation of the repository, call the actual method to add, and then test the database to see if we have a data or not. So let's start by creating the repository. For repository equal new to do repository. To do repository need a context. So let's create a context. Var context equal new to do db context. To do DB context, accept a DB context option. So we can use a DB context builder option builder to actually build the options. And we can, in that case, use, use SQL server to pass a connection string here. So for now, I'm going to do this. Let's add an empty string dot options to extract the options and use it with our context. Let's pass the context to the repository. Doing that, we created the context. We have the context injected in our repository. And we need to make sure, yeah, we need to make sure that the database is created when running that test. Before when dealing with integration tests, you can either create an actual database on your local server and you pass a connection string here. Yeah, you can put it here or you can put it as an environment variable and you can pass it through using settings to use it in your CI CD pipeline. But that is involving to have an actual SQL server running and you need to run it each time you are testing. And for each test that you have, 
you will have to clean up and preserve some data each time you are doing the test. So if adding an item to the database, we should remove that item once finished in order to test other functionality. But using test container is very different. What we can do, we create a new test container that contain the image of SQL Edge. We run the database on it. We create the database on it and we can use it. This is this very identical database that the one is using on Azure SQL Server. So we can use that. So to do so, we create a new container, container called new SQL Edge Builder dot with image dot build and then we can start our container let's make the method async task and now we can use the async method here all of that is our arrange now let's do the act so await repository dot add async we need to pass it a new to do so title test new to do is completed equal to false and then in the assert we should var db to do we should get it from the context to see if the database contain our to do item var to do db to do equal context dot to do's dot to list async is click getting everything make sure that the list contain a single item and make sure that we are expecting the title to be the same as the test one and another assert for is completed so assert is false db to do zero dot is completed and now if we run this test it's running it needs few seconds to boot up docker and actually run the database ah yeah so yeah we created a context with an empty connection string so we need to replace our empty string with container dot get connection string this method will return a connection string from the container and going to be used in our context so i have docker running make sure you have docker running before running the test because if it is not running it will fail and let's run i'm gonna open docker here as you can see we have a test container a container running and we have another image which is the azure sql edge that we are using and we have a, a success for our test it's very simple implementation and if we debug our test i'm going to show you our connection string is a valid connection string and it is pointing to our database on our docker container so container.start this will create a docker image i have it already cached so it should be quick and if we pass if we check container.get connection string this is our connection string i think you are not seeing it because of my face here so this is a connection string and it is a valid connection string and if we continue ensure created create the database with the tables from our entity framework context add to the repository and then once we assert we are getting the to do from the database we have the id equal to one since we have a new database for the test we can do the same thing for a different test so basically i'm gonna copy everything and going to change few things so get to do 
Same thing, container, and we are starting the container, creating a context, ensure created, create the repo, and then I'm going to add some data using the context, dot add new to do, is completed true, and another one that is not completed, and we need to do context dot save change. And then for our act, if we get everything dot var list, we should assert on the list count is two. The first item is test new to do. The first item is completed. The second item is not completed. And then we can stop the container. So if we are on the test now, get to do is running, it should succeed. And for each test that we have, it will create a new container. So we are 100% sure that the test is running as expected and the data is clean each time. And all the tests are succeeded. Hopefully you learned something new today and using test container, there is a limitless possibility. It's not only related to SQL Edge. You can run your test on Postgres or you can run your test on Cosmos DB, any image that test containers support. That's it for today. We'll see you in the next one.